Good morning, you guys. I'm out with Dalton this morning, and uh, we're going to do some range variation autos. It's uh, Vlogmas day number nine, I believe it would be. And um, this isn't a comprehensive review of, uh, of range variation autos, but we're just going to do a few of them. He's getting prepped for his flight test, which is uh, probably Monday next week. <laughs> and um, so we're going to try some different kinds. We can, when we're trying to range variate autos, um, we can either stretch the glide to go further, we can shorten the glide up to go a shorter distance, uh, lots of different kinds of things we can do. So, uh, what are you going to practice on this one, Dalton? Are we going uh, to stretch it, are we going to shorten it, what are we going to do? Straight in okay. and uh, shorten it. Okay, so shorten it. So we're going to enter far too late is the idea yes, on this one. Looking at our spot now, let's decide how are we going to do here. Are we going to be long, short? We are long right now. Okay. So we'll keep range variating down. I got lots of altitude still. Okay. 800 feet. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. That looks like we're going to be good now. So I'm going to start picking up. So yeah, just left of where the birds are is kind of our target spot there. Okay, definitely want to be picking up airspeed right now. Okay, rotor's good. Don't go on, go faster. And three, two, one, flaring. Throttle on, don't forget. Yeah. There you and go. checking the throttle, that doesn't roll off. Yep. And there we go. Beautiful, that was really nice. Yeah, the reason we're choosing that way is uh, mostly because of the sun. The sun's at our back, so it's going to be right. a little easier. Uh, three, two, one. Nope. Stay off. Okay, so rotor, rotor motor, airspeed trim, made a warn passengers causing cure. There's my rotor. Feel so. electrics off. Yeah. Good. Ah, I knew the it. The made a warn passengers causing cure, feel electrics off. That's only for a forced approach. We don't need to do that on these um, practice autos. Okay. All we need to do is rotor motor, airspeed trim. But what we're really paying attention to is the range variation to see if we're going to be long or short of our spot. Right, what we need to be doing to make it. So, on this one, how are we looking? Well, we were looking short, so I started to increase, but now we're looking a little long, and I can't check anymore because we're too low, but okay. actually it might work out now. Yeah, so we'll just deal with what we got. Three, two, wait, wait for it, wait for it. one, now, now flare. flare. Yeah. And throttle on. Throttle is coming on. There you go. Whoa, yeah, nice. that was a late a torque. Little, little droop there. Yeah, yeah. Get in that RPM. Uh, you got the RPM in good, but then it kind of came down a little bit again. Like we were talking about last week there. Yeah. If, it, if you're over speeding a little bit, the governor is going to try and bring it down for you. So just being careful of that. Um, yeah, so the last one to flare was a tiny bit high. This one I made you wait a little longer, and I, I like that way better. That felt okay. nice. So let's do it again. All right, so this one I want to enter when we are definitely too close. Okay. So we can start bringing it around now. You can do your hazel check. Okay. My height is just about good. My area... I think those birds are gone. Oh, they just moved oh, over to the more side, to the right yeah. now. Uh, so area is clear. My cabin is secure. Engine's running, and I'm looking for traffic, which I don't see anybody, and I haven't really heard many calls. Okay, let's enter in three, two, one, and you go. All right, so what are we doing? Now that we're short of our, or close to our we spot. want to slow down a okay. lot. Okay, that's good. So we're coming down well below 30 here. What else can we do? We're still going to overshoot. Um, we can turn away a little bit, right? Right. So we'll turn to the right a little bit. And maybe a little bit to the left. All right, now you're starting to get your speed back. Going in for our 50 knots. Not gonna go get yeah, quite yeah, you will, you will. There it is. Nice flare. Throttle's coming on. There we go. Good. Make sure it stays on. That's great. Oh, that was a sweet one. That was a sweet one. We nailed our spot. Let's pedal turn around a little bit. Okay. We can take a look here. Okay, yeah, we'll keep going a little further. This time we're going to be nice and long. And how do we stretch a glide? How do we go further? Uh, pull collective till it's just at the bottom of the green arc. Okay. And we can even go a little bit into the yellow, that's fine. And then uh, what do we do with speed? I uh, want to increase speed. Yeah, exactly. So a good like 70 knots or something is great. 75 even. 
Helps glide the helicopter a little bit. All right, that's probably far enough. Let's go ahead and turn around. Okay, we're going to enter in three, two, one now. Hey, what do you think? Are we going to make it? Um, not right now. Okay, let's go ahead and catch a little bit of speed. We're down quite slow, so gain go. some speed. Collective's up a little bit. That's good. Pulling a little bit. That's good. So we're getting, getting to 70. Nice and low on the RPMs. Okay, that's about as far as we can do it. So let's start lowering the collective uh, cyclic back a little bit. Slowing her down gently, gently, gently slowing her to 50. That's looking good. Wait for it, wait for it. And now flaring. Throttle on. And come out of that flare. All right. And nailed our spot again. Nice work. Wow. So uh, we came a little low on that flare. I think we could pull that collective in a little bit sooner. Um, just so we don't not get in that tail too close to the ground. Okay. But other than that, excellent. Let's try it again. All right. I could always pull more power, couldn't I? Yeah, you could always pull a little bit extra. On this one, uh, we're going to enter when our only spot available is directly below us. And we're going to do that from about 1,200 feet here. And so what we're going to have to be forced to do is a 360 turn. Uh, we'll do a 360 to your side, because it's always nicer to see out your window uh, how quickly we need to do that turn. And so what we'll do is that first 180 will happen fairly quick. And then we'll fly away from our spot a little bit. And okay. then when we think we're ready, then we'll finish off that last 180. All right. Oh, okay. So the spot's right below us down there. And we're going to get ready and enter in three, two, one, in you go. So I want to okay. slow it down. Yeah, slow it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be terribly slow, but um, just okay. a tiny bit is nice. And then that's good. So there's our first 180. And now we're just deciding, this is like basically entering downwind essentially. Right. We're deciding when is that last 180 good to finish off here. So, be here in a second. All right. Right now. All right. Going around. Checking my RPMs. Airspeed's coming up. I waited too long. Yep, waited a little bit too long, but we're still in the field, so should be all right. Wait for it with your flare. Okay, flare now, and throttle on. All right. So yeah, definitely you can see you're about uh, 300 feet short or something like that. Uh, 200, 300, something like that. And um, but we're in the field, we're safe. That's that's the important thing. Um, next time we'll turn a little bit closer, I think.